Hey, what's going on out there? I'd like to welcome you all to Water Your Soil. So, this video is going to be one of my favorite videos to do. I like giving you the sunshine, but as you all know, if you're a subscriber to this channel, I also have to give you the rain because I have to balance things out. I live in reality, so I have to give you the good as well as the bad. So, this video right here is going to be about some recent news that I read the other day and it's not the most encouraging news. In fact, it's not good at all. And it touches on some of the things I've been touching on this channel previously, but obviously the issue is not getting solved. So before I get into it, I wanna talk about a couple of things. Recently, I was having a talk with someone regarding YouTube and how to get my channel to grow more and things like that. And they're pretty experienced and knowledgeable when it comes to YouTube. And they were telling me, hey, you should post videos about these certain credit cards and post these type of videos because these are the videos that will get you views and it will bring viewership to your channel. And I had to think to myself, my number one reason for being on YouTube is not viewership. My number one reason is to help people. Now, of course, helping people and viewership work together simultaneously because in order to help more people, more people have to watch your channel. But I don't want to compromise educating people on this channel in order to have views because I could easily go and make videos about credit cards that I never owned, nor do I plan on owning. And I know they'll get views, but I'm not going to do that because I feel as though it's important to speak from experience. Not only that. It's also important to put people first and to help people. So my number one priority isn't views. If it's for me to have views, then I'll have them. I'm gonna put in the work, I'm gonna be consistent, but my main priority right now is helping people and we've been doing a good job of that over here at this Water Your Soil channel. So I just wanted to address that because sometimes as content creators, we could get lost in that shuffle between you know doing things for viewership and doing things to help people. I don't wanna lose sight of the helping people part. But getting into the video, this video is gonna be about why 46% of credit card holders carry over balances on at least one of their credit cards. And that's pretty interesting because last year it was 39%. So now it was 46%. And if I'm a betting man, I would assume that next year will be over 50%. And I think a lot of it has to do with people are using credit cards for the wrong reason and people desire credit cards for the wrong reason. As I always state on this channel, a lot of people want credit cards because they want to use them as a second form of cash. They want to go and spend money that they don't have. So of course they're going to carry over balances because they're actually spending money that they can't pay back and they want to drag it out. And of course the car issuers and the banks, they love it because that's a good way to make money. They make money from interest. They make money from people carrying over balances. So it makes a difference. Now, I'm not their friend. I'm sure if banks were to see this video, they wouldn't be a fan of it because they're like, hey, you're telling people to pay off what they spend every month, which is taking money out of our pockets. But what I'm trying to do is help people avoid credit card debt because credit card debt is at the highest it's ever been. I want people to understand that you can have a credit card, but you could also get the most out of a credit card without carrying over balances and putting yourself in credit card debt. Having a credit card and reaping the rewards, but being in credit card debt is not worth it. That's thinking backwards in my opinion. It's better to have a credit card, get the most out of the credit card and reap the rewards as well as pay your balance off every month. You avoid being in credit card debt. You have the rewards, whether it be points or cash back, and you get the most out of your credit card. And there's a good possibility you'll end up seeing great benefits from it on your credit score as well because you're paying down debt and you're paying off your credit card balance every month. So 46% is discouraging. Last year was 39%. This year is 46 I'm sure next year will be even higher because the economy more than likely isn't going to be doing much better next year than it currently is. So I'm not actually encouraged by what's to come. I have a feeling that that number will reach over 50% as far as 50% of credit card holders will be carrying over balances 
on at least one of their credit cards. And unless you have a 0% APR promotion, you're pretty much setting yourself up to get a credit card issuer's extra money. Now, some of you may not mind that. You know, you carry over balances. You're like, I don't care. I got the money, so I don't care. I can pay it off eventually. But if you want to avoid credit card debt and you really want to get the most out of a credit card in a positive way, pay off your balance every month. I know it's going to sound like a broken record, especially over here at this channel. A lot of people don't like my channel because I give you the good and the bad. I just don't give you the good. You're not going to be over here and just hearing about the great things about credit cards and the benefits. I have to give you the bad. I'm not just going to walk you out in the water without at least teaching you how to swim so you can fend for yourself. But I want you all to be smarter when it comes to credit cards. You can use credit cards. As I always tell people, I'm very much pro credit card, but I'm also pro staying out of credit card debt and paying off whatever you spend every month. Keep those balances in check and make sure you're only spending what you can afford to pay off immediately. But anyways, this is Water Your Soil. If you're new here and you're feeling the vibe, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Turn on all notifications. That way you don't miss a future video because I do post often. Also, be sure to check out some of the previous videos that I posted. Uh, you can check them out in my video section. Just go to the homepage of this Water Your Soil YouTube channel and you will see the videos. Pick out whichever video you want to watch because I have a lot of them. Also, this goes to every single one of you that's here watching this video. Be sure to hit the like button. That's your way of showing support to this channel. It will help you get the video circulated with the algorithm. The algorithm loves the like button. But anyways, I appreciate every single one of you. Feel free to leave a comment. Feel free to share the video. Whatever you want to do with it. As long as it's positive, I'm with it. This is Water Your Soil. I appreciate every single one of you for watching this video. And I'm out. Wait, 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 wait. Before you leave, be sure to check out the description box below. That way you can have all the credit resources from Water Your Soil. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button as well, all right?